uncovering the stories of the most dangerous, unsanitary, and deadly jobs in the 19th and 20th centuries. Let's start with the fifth and count down to the first place. Place number five, the uranium miners. In the depths of the Cold War, the race for nuclear supremacy led to a dire profession, uranium mining. Deep underground, miners, often unaware of the real danger, dug into the Earth's crust. They had one job, to extract the valuable uranium ore, a key ingredient for nuclear weapons and energy. Each day, these miners descended into poorly ventilated tunnels, armed with only basic tools and minimal protection. As they chipped away at the rock, radioactive dust filled the air, invisible yet harmful. The miners breathed in radon gas and radioactive particles, unaware of the silent killer they were inhaling. The day of a uranium miner was marked by the constant rattle of machinery and the oppressive darkness of the mines. Fatigue was a constant companion, but more sinister were the long-term effects. A high incidence of lung cancer and other respiratory diseases, which often remained undiagnosed until it was too late. In the shadows of the earth, these miners worked hard, unknowingly sacrificing their health for a national cause. Yet their struggle was just the beginning for another group of workers, who faced death not in the darkness of mines, but in the damp and smelling depths of cities. Next, we delve into the place number four, the sewer cleaners. In the sprawling cities of the 19th century, another group of laborers faced a daily battle against filth and disease, the sewer cleaners. Tasked with maintaining the labyrinthine sewer systems, these workers waded through rivers of waste, surrounded by a stench that clung to them long after their work was done. Each day brought a new challenge, clearing blockages, repairing damaged pipes, all while surrounded by a toxic cocktail of human waste, industrial runoff, and vermin. They had little in the way of protective gear, exposing them to a myriad of pathogens and diseases such as typhoid, cholera, and hepatitis. The life of a sewer cleaner was a constant gamble, with the risk of drowning in the sewage, being crushed in collapsing tunnels, or being bitten to death by bloodthirsty rats. Yet, despite the hazards, they continued, driven by necessity, to descend into the bowels of the city day after day. Their story is one of unseen heroism in the face of unimaginable conditions, a stark contrast to the next group whose daily toil involved a deadly element hidden in plain sight. We now turn to the perilous world of number three, the matchstick makers. In the 19th century, the demand for an everyday item, the humble matchstick, gave rise to a hazardous profession, matchstick making. In poorly ventilated factories, workers, including women and children, worked hard for long hours, dipping wooden sticks into white phosphorus. Each day, these workers were enveloped in toxic fumes, the strong odor of phosphorus permeating their clothes and skin. The repetitive task of dipping and drying the matchsticks exposed them to fossy jaw, a gruesome condition where the jawbone decayed due to the prolonged exposure to the toxic fumes of white phosphorus, a chemical used in match production, leading to disfigurement and excruciating pain. The matchstick makers also faced the constant threat of accidental fires and burns. Yet, despite the dangers, they continued their work, driven by economic necessity, crafting the very items that lit homes but darkened their lives. Their plight was a grim reminder of the price paid for the comforts of modern living, a theme echoed in the next profession. Number 2. The Radium Girls of the Early 20th Century In the early 1900s, a group of young women found employment in a seemingly glamorous job, painting watch dials with radium-based luminescent paint. These Radium Girls worked in factories, delicately applying the glowing substance to ensure the watches were readable in the dark. Each day, they pointed their brushes with their lips, ingesting small amounts of radium. What seemed like harmless specks of glittery dust was, in fact, a deadly poison. Gradually, the radium took its toll, leading to a horrifying condition known as radium jaw, where the jawbone crumbled and the body literally fell apart. The radium girls, once proud of their luminescent jobs, found themselves battling severe health issues, including anemia, bone fractures, and other excruciating afflictions. Their struggle brought to light the hidden dangers of industrial work and the cost of ignorance and corporate negligence. Their tragic story, marked by glowing smiles that masked their suffering, sets the stage for our final, most harrowing profession. Number 1. The Young Chimney Sweeps of the 19th Century In the 18th and 19th centuries, 
the profession of chimney sweeping was not just a job. It was a sentence to a life of grime and danger. Often for young children, these small, agile kids were ideal for navigating the narrow, soot-filled chimneys of the time. Each day, these young sweeps faced suffocating darkness as they climbed inside chimneys, scraping off layers of soot. Covered head to toe in black grime, they breathed in carcinogenic substances, leading to respiratory diseases and the dreaded chimney sweep's cancer. The life of a chimney sweep was a cruel irony, tasked with cleaning the conduits of warmth and light, yet their own lives were mired in darkness and disease. Accidents were common, either from falling or getting stuck in the tight spaces. Their tale is a bleak reminder of a time when the innocence of childhood was overshadowed by the harsh realities of survival, a stark conclusion to our journey through history's most dangerous and filthy jobs. These stories, while harrowing, are a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the sacrifices made in the name of progress and necessity.